Hello everyone, welcome again. And in this video, we will continue our learning on reservoir simulation. And in this video, I will introduce you with the reservoir modeling and simulation software, which is quite widely used, all right, in oil industries. And the software is T Navigator from Rockflow Dynamics, all right? This software is very good. So let's learn together in this video. So we have several tools or features here. As you can see, we have geology designer, static geology modeling. Okay, so if we want to construct static geological model, we can use this one. All right, and then this one, model designer, if we want to create dynamic model. So you have static model and you can also have dynamic model. Okay, for petroleum engineering, we mainly involve in model designer or in dynamic model creation, all right? So if we want to generate a dynamic model, we will use this tool, model designer. And PVT designer, if we want to create PVT model, all right, this is very important. The fluid properties will be modeled in this designer. VFP designer, this is to construct vertical lift performance to correlate between the bottom hole with the surface. All right, you remember nodal analysis, we have IPR, inflow performance relationship, and we also have VLP, vertical lift performance, all right? And here in this designer, in this tool, we construct VFP, all right? And then here, network designer, if you want to model the network, the production facility, we construct the facility using this network designer. License, this is to manage the license. And simulation, this is very, very, very important. Black oil simulation, compositional thermal simulator. If you want to perform, for example, forecasting, all right, uncertainty analysis, we can do that in simulation. Simulation results to visualize the results, okay? But we can also visualize the results using this simulation. This one. AHM, which is assisted history matching and uncertainty analysis. Oh, I'm sorry. For uncertainty analysis, we, we will use this one. And others, batch jobs, remote GUI, graphical user interface, and the manuals. Okay, so in this video, we will construct a dynamic model. Hopefully we can do history matching at the end. So, okay, let's do that. First, we go to this one and I will create a new project. Create new. Okay. And I will construct or I will create a folder. Okay. Okay, this is the folder. Open it. I will save the project file here. So I will call it project underscore simulation. That's the name of our project file. And the type is model designer project SNP. Okay, click save. And we will wait until the T navigator is ready. All right, here we go. Wait for a while. Okay. Now this is our window. 